It's beginning to look a lot like winter up here at the base of Silver Mountain Resort. Already this morning, about four and a half or five inches of snow has fallen, and the people who work here tell me it's the perfect type of snow to make up a great base. It's crunchy, it makes snowballs. It's a little like cement, thick and wet. People here hope it's the foundation of good things to come. It's snowing. It's gonna be a good one. Definitely you get that sense of urgency once the snow, once the ground turns white. Maintenance guys are reassembling chair lifts. Putting the chairs back on, we're ready. And firing up heavy machinery. The marketing team is using words like epic and bomb to describe the stuff falling from the sky. Everyone's excited. These boys are smiling and they're in the windiest spot on the mountain working. And they're smiling because they know it's, it's winter time. Everyone here has a to-do list. Perhaps the biggest item left at Silver, replacing all six and a half miles of cable on Silver's famous gondola. Silver isn't alone. Preparations are underway at resorts across the inland northwest. Today, Schweitzer saw a fresh blanket of snow. So did Lookout Pass. Several inches fell at 49 degrees north, and Mount Spokane is also boasting a few inches. Last year was uh, enough snow. I mean, we were open every day, but uh, wasn't wasn't the powder that we're used to being spoiled with. Yeah. So I'm excited for this year. Silver is set to open November 26th, but if Mother Nature blesses the mountain with enough snow and work on the gondola is completed before then, it could open up early. At Silver Mountain Resort, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.